In this video, I want to show you how to use variable data inside of Illustrator and what you can do with that. First of all, if I go up to Window and I go down to Variables, a window pops up. Now what variables allow you to do is create a design and have certain aspects of your design change dynamically. For example, I have this design here where I want the name of the park, a national park, to change, I want the state to change, and I want the year to change. What variables allow you to do is as a designer you can set up your design and you can export a file for a developer to develop uh, multiple images based on your design. If I wanted to export this image as a variable data what I would do is select the areas that I would want to export I make sure variables is open and okay, I can click on make text dynamic which is now going to create a variable of what this is and I can double click to change my variable. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and call this National Park. I can then click on the state and I can do the same thing. I click Make Text Dynamic. Now this error comes up because I have it selected already in my first variable, so I'm going to click Cancel. I'm going to click Out so that my first variable is not selected. Now with state selected, I go ahead and click on the Make Text Dynamic and I'm going to go ahead and rename this state and click out and now I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to select year click over here in my variables panel and I'm going to call this one year now what I have done is I've created the different areas that I want to change inside of my design now I can go up to this flyout menu and I can go down to where it says save variable library and I'm going to go ahead and save this inside of a folder and I'm going to call this variables from Illustrator. This is saving as an XML file which allows you to add scripting later and control the elements um, through programming or through scripting. So I save that. I can open up that file. I'm going to use Notepad to open it up. change my open to all files and here I can see variables from Illustrator. I click open and you can see what Illustrator has created. It's defined the variables that we're using and it has this variable set so that a programmer could then go in and make changes. I'm going to close this. Now let's say that the reverse is what you want to do. Somebody's given you a bunch of information and you want to put that inside of your design and change your, change your design based on what people have put in, uh, based on the data that you have. So in this case, I have an Excel document that has um, my information. I have state, the names of the national park, and the year. I've also included a column called data set. Now this is very important. Uh, I found that if you don't include this, it doesn't work very well and it doesn't um, you basically need a column at the beginning that says data set with a number next to the data set. So what I want to do is I want to take this data and I want to merge it essentially with this Illustrator design into multiple designs. So to do that you need to know how to uh, create XML files. Now for many designers creating XML files is not what you're strong at doing so there are many workarounds on the internet and the one that I found that works the best is if you open up your Excel file you copy all of your data so I selected all of my data, I copied it and then if you go to the web there's a website joalforico.com.br conversor you paste your Excel data in here and it will create the file or the information here that you can then save and use inside of Illustrator. This is in Portuguese. Now if you use Google Chrome you can translate this page by clicking in the upper right hand corner. I'm just going to go ahead and click translate and so here it tells us we want to put our data here, stick our data here, it tells us what it's doing. So I simply click in this top part green uh, is where the Excel information goes. I right click, paste, it puts in all the information. I click down underneath the orange bar. The orange is where representative of Illustrator. And now it says copy the gener generated XML and save it to a text file with the termination or the file extension of XML. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to copy all of this text 
and it automatically has it all selected so all I had to do was copy it and now I'm going to go ahead and open up Notepad again. With Notepad open, I'm going to right click, paste. Now this puts in all of the data that I have put in. I'm going to save this. So I go to File, Save As, and I need to save this as an XML file. It will not work as a .txt file. So I come down here and I change the Save As type to All Files and I'm going to call this variables for Illustrator whereas before I created a variables from Illustrator I was able to create that XML file now I'm creating these so that I can put them into Illustrator I'm going to go ahead and type dot XML that way Illustrator knows that it's an XML file I click Save I can go back to Illustrator now. I'm going to come up here to this flyout again. I'm going to load a variable library, which is what I just created. Now, my Illustrator, it comes up with an issue. I think it's my computer. This doesn't, I just click OK and it ignores that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and select my file, Variables for Illustrator. So I go ahead and select that. I click Open and it tells me the current document already contains variables that's because I've already created these do you want to overwrite the current variables and data sets? yes because I'm going to pull the information from the file that I just created so I click yes and now if you have the variables named the same it will automatically match these up so I have the state, state, national park, name of park, uh, year, year because I already set that up using the same names that were inside of my Excel file, it matched them automatically. If the names did not match up automatically, I could select one of these and I could simply come over here and choose which one it is. Uh, because they were named the same, it lines up automatically. Now with them lined up, I can come up here to data set and I can choose a different number. These were the numbers inside of Excel and so I can change the different data set. I can also click through with the arrow, arrow and notice how all my information changes. Now one thing to be cautious of when you're doing this occasionally you're going to have something that has more text than everything else. So if I go to 22 I can see it cuts off some of the wording. So this is something to be cautious of. When you are doing a merge of large amounts of information, you want to make sure that everything does work. So on this one, what I'm going to do is change the text to a smaller font size so that it all fits on there. Once I've decided that everything is set up correctly and I want to save these files individually I'm going to create an action and run the action so that it saves each data set as an individual file to do this I go up to window actions I'm going to record an action for Illustrator to complete to do this I need to create a new action I'm going to call this action save as PDF and I could assign a function key so that when I wanted to do this all I'd have to do is press that function key I'm going to skip that for right now and I'm going to click record and now what I want to do is go up to file and I'm going to choose instead of save or save as I like to choose save a copy and I'm going to go ahead and choose the variables folder and I'm going to put a folder called finished and I'm going to save this as an Adobe PDF I'm going to select this folder I'm going to go inside of it I click save I'm going to go ahead and just click Save PDF with all of those options. I'm now going to click Stop Playing Recording. This stops recording the action and it sets it in there. What I want to do now is have my actions, move this over here so we can see it. I want to have my action run on each of these data sets. Now I could do each one individually where I select it and then I run the action, but instead I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose the flyout menu, batch, and I'm going to choose my action, save as PDF. I'm going to choose data sets. You could choose a folder if you've already created numerous files. Destination, it says none, 
but what I'm going to do is choose the folder where I want it to save. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's set to variables finished. I'm going to select that folder and now it's going to ask me to override the action save commands. I'm going to go ahead and keep that one selected and I'm going to call this the data set name. I could call it the file and data set name which would put this file name and the data set name which would be this number after it. I'm going to go ahead and choose that. I click OK and now as you can see it's running through these actions for each of our data sets and it's creating a separate file. If I go and select inside my folder I can now see it's created all of these different designs. I could do the same thing. Let me run the batch again. So I'm going to choose the batch. This time I'm going to do file and data set name. So I click OK. It does the same thing. And here you can see sample variable data 1, 2. So all it's done is it's include the file name and the data set number. So with just a few steps, you can take data from something such as Excel and merge it with a design that you have created. Or you can create your design and send it out to developers so that they can then merge it with information or merge it with a database. Uh, one thing that people like to do is include pictures inside of their images. I have not been successful at getting this to work. I find it much easier and simpler to add pictures using data merge inside of Photoshop or data merge inside of InDesign. Uh, whenever I use Illustrator, I always come up with errors. Um, I have found an excellent resource. The same person who created this website has also created a video that demonstrates how he does um, both the, the text merge um, as well as changing images. Every time I do it I come up with different errors on my computer and after searching the internet for quite a lot uh, quite a bit of time found that the error comes up quite frequently inside of Illustrator but I will try to provide a link for you to his video it is in Portuguese but if you watch through what he does if you start um, the video at 8 minutes and 50 seconds he goes through what you need to do to change the XML file to allow you to put pictures in um, so I will try to provide that link for you but hopefully this tutorial has been helpful in knowing how you can use variables inside of Illustrator Thank you for watching this tutorial. For more videos, please visit youtube.com slash sterlingteaches or click on one of the links below. To learn more about Microsoft Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, click here. To watch tutorial videos for Adobe's Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign, click here. In the center is a link to videos that may be beneficial to teachers. Thank you.